Hey, I'm Nick Blair and welcome to Pocket. And earlier this week, I sat down with Homefront 2 producer and most British man alive, David Stanton, as he ran me through a level of the upcoming shooter. Let's take a look. David, thank you for joining me. Thank you. You've brought in Homefront The Revolution. Talk me through what I'm about to see. So at this point in the game, we're about 30 minutes into the action. Mm -hmm. So a key member of the resistance, Benjamin Walker, has been captured by the me? KPA. I'm Benjamin. Uh, you're not Benjamin. No. It's a key member of no. the resistance called Benjamin. No, been, I'm not a key member. Been, you will soon to be a key member. Excellent. You're just a, you're a noob at this point. Right. Um, so you've just joined the resistance. Uh, you've met some of the key characters in the story, mm -hmm. and now we're about to head out into the first red zone, the first open world district for the first time in search of Benjamin Walker. This is all very exciting. Is Elm Tree the street? Elm Tree is the name of the entire district. All right. All right. So did we build these, or are we taking advantage of... of Korean ingenuity. So these are resistance tunnels. Um, so actually, the resistance have their base mm -hmm. in the sub in the old kind of subways of Philadelphia. Right. And they use tunnels, kind of home-built tunnels, excavated tunnels, mm -hmm. uh, to link up different districts where they ply their resistance trade. <laughs> ply their resistance trade. I guess it is a full-time job for them now. Should I talk to this guy? You can recruit him. I can recruit him? Yeah. And he'll follow you. Really? And will he help in battle? He will. He will ply his resistance trade with me? Let's take them all. Come on, guys, follow me. Uh, through here, I assume? No, follow the mission marker. Follow the mission marker, yeah. which is a much better idea. Um, so, the first game came out uh, a few years ago, and then it was under THQ, and then THQ folded, and then they sold off the game to... Crytek? Yeah, that's right. And then Crytek, it was under a development studio with Crytek. Us. Yeah, that was you guys? Yes. And then it's now with Deep Silver. That's right. What's been the process like going between several publishers for your vision? Um, I mean, it's not been too bad, if I'm honest. It's mm -hmm. the same team, pretty much, that's been working on the game for the entire duration. We all sit in the same desks. Yeah. You know, we all kind of do the same job. So the game has obviously evolved. Um, over the past kind of few years, as any uh, big budget uh, game does, um, yeah, prototyping different ideas. We kind of we went um, open world with the game kind of three years ago. Yeah. Um, so yeah, really, it's just been a case of kind of seeing the the original vision out. Mm -hmm. So you don't you don't feel like it's like it's been relatively smooth for you. I think yeah. I mean, most kind of AAA game development is tough. Yeah. Uh, and that this is no exception in, mm. in that sense, but um, I think, um, yeah, I mean, in terms of the the impact that the various kind of transitions have had, um, it's not been to the detriment of the game. Awesome. Sure. Alpha, you got anything? Give me a second. Okay, yeah, Dana, there's barrel traps on Elm Tree Avenue just ahead. Now, should I be jumping up on this car? Yes. Is this the, am I going the right way? You Feel are. free to tell me when I'm going the wrong way. I will. Because this is how I like to play video games, with the developer sitting with me, telling me all of my mistakes. So you sprung the barrel trap a little bit prematurely there. Did so I? What we really wanted to do was to wait until the KPA convoy... Right, but can I... a little bit closer. Can I explode them when they come? You... Oh, no, it already happened. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to have to do this the hard way. So now the KPA... Well, you won't have that benefit. I won't have that benefit of springing the trap. But feel free to use your pistol. The problem is we were talking so much about the history of game development and how yeah. I enjoy... We forgot to strategize We forgot to talk about... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This I would not be recruited with the resistance with this kind of behavior. Uh, crouch is what I definitely want to do. God, tank. So See, what you the can, problem. What you can do now is if you can drop down behind the armoured car. Mm -hmm. Behind, as in down here? Yeah, on the, around the back of the armoured car. So that's the front, there's the back. And shoot the fuel shoot, shoot the fuel tank, which is the... Oh, right, I was just um, going to hop in the car. You, you try to eat the gun to it. Yeah, 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 I thought I'd just give it, give it the old 
give it the old Nick Boy yeah. Nick Boy stinker. You can't you can't can't play Rambo in right, this okay. game. Right, you know, You've got to kind of take it slow. Let's try that again. Strategize. Can I get a gun other than a pistol? Because I feel like it was a bit unfair facing up against that tank with a pistol. There are a lot of guns in the game, mm -hmm. but right at this stage, you're just a a gorilla noob, and so over the course of the game, you'll scavenge, salvage. Acquire currency, buy more weapons, upgrade your weapons. And now I get a chance to do the battle trap properly. Yes. So how open world is the game? Is it hub based or...? Uh, you have a hub that you can go back to. Mm -hmm. uh, you unlock new districts as you progress further into the game. So the game opens up the more time you spend with it. Yep. You can travel back and forth between the different districts. They're all, you know, really kind of sizable districts as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's a really big game. It's a really long single player campaign. Are you proud of me? I didn't. I stopped talking because I didn't want to put you off springing the barrel. I liked it. I liked it. I feel like I sprung it pretty well. Though I would love if they exploded. There we go. So now you can salvage. He's as happy as I am. Scavenge some stuff from the vehicle. Go, go! Should I clear these guys out first, though, or are they just going to run away? Uh, they won't. Is that run a drone? Away. You'll very rarely kill all of the KPA, so usually it's a good idea to hit and run. And yeah, now you've run out of ammo. Oh no! So I'd advise collecting some. No, oh, yeah, yeah, you could just you could just run for it. Yeah, I could I'm, just run for it. I'm not going to judge. No, 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 no. Judge away, but also like, where would where would I find some ammo? Uh, on, you could scavenge from the vehicle. This one here. Uh, yeah. Just worried about that drone. Is that yeah, friendly drone sure, or a just drone? just just run for it? Just run for it. Yeah. I feel like the oh, moment there we go. Passed. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Totally. It's got it. Like we all agreed to run for it, and then and then I went back. They were like, "Why are you going back? Why aren't you just running for it like the rest of us?" So yeah, it's a really important tactic in Homefront to hit and run, to strategize, choose your battles. Yeah, I guess because uh, I mean, one of the things I was thinking is the difficulty in today's space, I guess, of differentiating yourself as a shooter from, say, Call of Duty or, you know, Battlefield or something. Yeah. And here, I feel like I already ran out of ammo that you're you're going this for this sort of much more realistic, scrappy style as yeah. opposed to guns blazing all exactly. the time. Exactly. I mean, we, we're really kind of pushing as a studio to try and make this a kind of a really kind of intelligent shooter. Mm. You have to think, you have to strategize, you have to use cover. You can't kill every single enemy. It's not about kind of running through a theme park ride, just kind of clearing them out in, yeah. in action. You're not a, kind of an action hero or super soldier. I'm certainly not. <laughs> um, if, uh, if you just check behind you, there's oh, a bike yeah. stash. You can Ooh. get on the motorbike. What? Oh, yes. Uh, okay, this is going to go great. Um, uh, should I head mission marker that way? Yeah, there, there we go. go. Do you feel like you, uh, based off the making of this game, do you feel like you're ready for a revolution if it came to that? Me personally. Yeah, you, David. I would not be. No? I would be, I would be terrible. Because I... that's kind of what we did to you guys here, was we sort of did this scrappy uprising against the Brits. I'm just saying you're in enemy territory right now. I'm always in enemy territory. <laughs> pretty much no matter which country <laughs> I go to. With, yeah, there's you a, know, you've, you've done with, something you know, to them at some somebody. point. Yeah. So the answer is no. Yeah, the answer yeah. is I'm terribly unfit. Yeah, um, right, okay. Can I just stay on a bike the whole time? Because this is great. You can stay on a bike for as long as you like, but you might want to hop off to... Like, this guy is not necessarily going to be that happy with my biking ways. So you can climb up um, some of these ledges up here. Do you propose... Uh, are you trying to emphasise sneaking as opposed to uh, like taking people on? Is there a stealth opportunity? The, we always allow a stealth opportunity, but the game is kind of split between different districts. So mm -hmm. this, is, this is called the red zone. Mm -hmm. So in these districts, it's uh, very open warfare. There's resistance running around on the streets. It's yeah. about kind of doing ambushes like you just did with that convoy. Yeah, that's a pretty good ambush. In the yellow zones, they're um, kind of ghetto districts where mm -hmm. the KPA have rounded up civilians and cr kind of crammed them into these ghetto areas, and they're very kind of... Uh, very highly um, watched over by the KPA. Right. And so as a result, um, in those districts, it is more about stealth. Yeah, because okay. they know your face, they're, they're looking out for you, you need to conceal your weapon, you need to try and blend in with the um, civilian population. Cool. So we try and 
over the course of the game, we really kind of account for different styles of, uh, of gameplay. Brilliant. And now hacking. Yes. So now you can hack this net network transceiver. So you have to try and get the things to line up. There we go. Brilliant. So what we've done here is we've captured a strike point. Mm -hmm. And so within each zone, there are multiple strike points. And each strike point is really like a kind of a self-contained side mission almost. Right, okay. So this one was quite a straightforward one. You just, early on in the game, you pretty much, you know, did some traversal, got kind of close to the network transceiver and then hacked it. But just in, motorbiked my way in. Just motorbikes your way in. Yeah. But in some others, there might be puzzles involved. You might need to clear out KPA. Are you saying I can't always just motorbike my way in? You can always try. Right, okay. Yeah. Can I take a bike through the whole game? Uh, you can, there are no bikes in yellow zones. So in yellow zones, there are no civilian vehicles. You oh, have to, right. You know, yeah, okay. These are impoverished true. people. Yeah. You know, Feels like a missed opportunity, but okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, what should I do now? Uh, Follow the mission marker. So you can recruit the resistance member. You've been. Oh, you can go to a weapon locker. You can. So, uh, so now I'm in a sort of safety hub situation? Uh, you're in a strike point that you've captured. So right, you okay. can probably see there's like kind of blue paints, there's more kind of supplies that have um, mm -hmm. spawned in. Um, if you go to the shop, You've got seven hundred and fifty dollars to spend. That is just the right amount of money. Just the right amount for an, for an assault, assault rifle. I mean, what are the odds? <laughs> Terrific. Should I head out? Yeah, head out towards the. Uh, so now we're going to meet another story character. He's called Ned Sharp. Mm -hmm. That's a good name. Did you come up with that one? Uh, I didn't, mm -hmm. but quite often people get him confused with Ned Stark. That makes sense. He's not. You're not going to meet Ned Stark. Here's my question: Does Game of Thrones exist? In the fan, in the world of this game, I feel like that's too great a weight of responsibility for me to make a snap decision on. Right. That. Okay. Right. Well, I feel like it shouldn't be a snap decision. This is a question you should have asked early in development. It's not been the most pressing. Really. <laughs> okay. Look, Game of Thrones aside. What year are we in? So this is 2029. So this yeah, is George Mann still hasn't put out the next book. So this is another strike point um, on your right here. This mm -hmm. is a KPA stronghold. So these are some of the most difficult. So is that the red points. one in the map, is, or yeah, yeah, not what I'm heading towards no. to now? Um, so these are really difficult strike points. Oh, good. Capture. So this is where it is kind of useful to recruit resistance members. You're really going to need your guerrilla toolkit items to yep. in help infiltrate the stronghold. Right. Okay. So it's probably not something you. It's can not something I should. No, 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 no. I wasn't planning. Oh, hello, hello. This is a seeker drone, so they go around the red zones, and if they spot you, they'll call in an airship drone. Oh, wow! Bring in reinforcements. <laughs> right, okay, so probably take him out straight away. And a whole load of whoop ass. Yeah, right. Uh, down or up? It's your choice. It's, oh, it's open not, world. Not, right, it's open world. Yeah. It's the pleasure of open world. Was the answer you did not know? No, it, no, was, you know, it, was, you know. it was that it's you open know, world. You're right, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to go down. Okay, so I assume all these markers are people they are. who are not my friends. So these are all object sub objectives for the strike point, that you're mm -hmm. in, which is to clear out this dry dock. Right, you okay. could do that. Yeah. Or you could proceed. You could just sneaky, sneaky. It is 240 meters away. Yeah, that's fine. I got the leg for it. I'm just gonna sprint. I'm just gonna run. Huge mistake. Ugh, the mistake was entering foreign enemy territory in a building downstairs with no escape. That was the real problem. Uh, drone. He's done. I assume they're coming up behind me. Yep. It might be a good idea to run. You've no health kits. But I should scavenge that. Dodge this guy. There's another drone coming for me. I can feel you slyly smiling while you're watching this. <laughs> like, he's not going to make it. I don't want to. No, but exactly. remember, remember what country you're in. This is what we do for a living. Criminals. All of us. Okay. Let's get about this. Which way is he looking? Okay. Down there. Are you leaning into me? Yeah, I am. I'm really tense. Okay. I'm going to go this way. Oh, no, oh you, can, too. you can shoot these gas vents. They explode. Should I? Yeah, shoot it. Oh, yeah! yeah. This is crazy. Oh no, have I gone the wrong way? No, no. No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Open world, open world, baby. <laughs> so, I'm still bleeding. 
health isn't just regenerating, I do need to pick up health kits. Yeah, it doesn't regenerate fully, it just regenerates on the, the lower part of the bar. Like, like a human would. So we don't really want to kind of push the idea that you're a super soldier, mm -hmm. you have to you know, build up your health kits, yeah. you have to you know, scavenge your resources. Yeah. Um, I like that it's kind of like so far the defining feature of this game is you're weak, yeah. you're weak and you're never going to make it. But Can they smell? How did he know I was here? Take solace in the fact that you will get better. Yeah, that's true. I'm not, I'm not, not feeling good about this drone. So you can press the left stick in to peek. Yeah, I did. I peeked and then I think he saw me. Would he see me if I was peeking? No, he shouldn't do. No? Oh. Hey. Now you can <laughs> sneak past them. This is great. Go, go, go. There we go. All right. Uh, now. This is a dead end. Yeah, this is a ter open world. Come on, <laughs> come on. I guess there are dead ends in the open world. Oh wait, who are they? Who are they shooting at? Is that That's me? So. D yeah, blue, 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 blue. <laughs> Capitalism, baby. So these are. Emotions. I'm just celebrating <laughs> by my right to shoot a gun. Um. In here. Yes. David. Please. This is the first time I've played this game and I am doing so well. I need something from you. Such as? <sighs> you are Congrats, so British. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want I hug? just, yeah, yeah. I do want a hug. Can we hug it out? I'd rather not. Okay. There's a long way to go in this campaign. Right, but well, we're not going to play the whole game here. Well, I just want, I just want some credit where credit is due. Ned, will give you. Credit. Ned will give me credit. That's true. I have encouraging words. I'm just saying. I feel like I'm pretty sneaky. And I don't know whether we should divulge that you are playing on the easiest difficulty setting. Shh, 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 shh. My show. <laughs> okay, Ned. There he, there he is. There he is. The dire wolf. What the hell has happened to him? Oh, you Brady? More called. Said you might show up. Lucky for me you did. I got a patrol gone missed up. Any information on Walker is vital. We gotta find out what's happened to them. I got people out looking, but there's a lot of ground to cover. I need you out there helping the search. Keep trying to raise it. Could be something blocked in their radio. All right, well, Ned doesn't appear to be very happy that I'm just standing around not doing anything. Uh, the game continues from here. When, when can I play the rest of it? So the game's released in Australia mm -hmm. on May the 20th on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. That's very soon. Yes, it is. Yeah. Are you worried about the fact that you're here and not with the game? Uh, no, we're basically done with the game now. Cool. So when the game comes out, you'll be available, I assume, to come over and, and play through the rest of it with me? I'd love to. Terrific. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming over. Thank you. All right, so that was Homefront 2. And I'll be honest, I was not enthused about the idea of looking at Homefront 2 because I was not enthused by Homefront 1. However, after that experience, I was thused. It's hard to tell what a game will be like given such a sort of small chunk of it, except this, I liked the fact that I felt like I could sort of approach the level the way that I wanted to. That it feels like they really are making something of an open world here, and the path that I took, which was the path of, you know, not a lot of fighting and quite a bit of hiding and then quite a bit of running, is just one way that I could have gotten to my objective. That I could have gone another area, scavenged for materials, put together, you know, new weapons or something, because I actually took the time to explore or take down people stealthily. Here I'm sacrificing that for the fact that I feel like I'm running and hiding. And there, that's actually kind of a bit of role playing. It, uh, you know, you are part of a resistance movement and that level did feel as though there were pockets of resistance hiding out and that I needed to go and find my friends, but between me and my friends was a lot of dangerous territory. So I think they achieved that. And I, I feel like I got a sense from this, it's, it's not necessarily anything like Spec Ops The Line, but I did get a Spec Ops vibe in that it's not necessarily Call of Duty, you're the best bro that's ever broed and look at all your bros and let's go in and kill other bros from other countries. Here, you really felt like more of a vulnerable human being, and I appreciate that kind of storytelling in war games and in shooters. A little like Metro, except without all the radioactive vibes. Alright, that's it for today's episode of Pocket My Pocketeers. Nick Boyat.